The Social Security Administration looks at whether you are capable of doing jobs, not whether you would be hired. Thus, you may have to prove that you are unable to do jobs for which you would never be hired. In some cases, the medical findings about your condition alone will cause the judge to find you disabled. In other cases, the majority, we usually have to prove two items. One, your medical impairments prevent you from performing any significant job you've done in the past 15 years. Two, there are not many other jobs you are capable of doing considering your age, education, and work experience. Think about all the jobs you have had in the past 15 years and pick out the easiest one. If you did that easiest job long enough to learn how to do it and earned a minimum amount of money from that job, we have to prove that you cannot do that easiest job, even if we are certain you would never be hired for that job again, even if the company where you worked no longer exists, and even if the job is no longer available elsewhere. Proving the second item is even more complicated and opposed to common sense. In many cases, we have to prove that you are incapable of doing jobs that we know you would never actually be hired for. This does not mean that you have to be unable to do anything. In fact, very few people who go in front of an administrative law judge are unable to do any job at all. This is an important point to grasp because one way to determine disability is by figuring out what you can do. Then we can determine whether or not jobs within your capacity exist in significant numbers in the economy, considering your age, education, and work experience. The rules that we use for determining disability apply most directly to impairments that limit your physical ability to stand, sit, walk, lift, bend, or work with your hands. If you are unable to do certain kinds of manual labor, whether because of a back problem, heart condition, breathing problem, or some other medical condition, your lawyer will be able to look at the rules and figure out what you need to prove to win your case. Here are some examples. If you are under age 50, the general rule is that you must prove that you cannot do an easy sit-down job or even a job where you are allowed to alternate sitting and standing during the workday. You have to prove this even though you might not be hired for such a job. If you are age 50 through 54, the general rule is that you must prove that you cannot do light work, that is, work involving being on your feet most of the day and lifting up to about 20 pounds. Thus, even though you might still be able to do a sit-down job, a desk job, you can still be found disabled. If you are age 55 or older, it gets even easier. The general rule is that you must prove that you cannot do medium work. That is, work involving being on your feet for most of the day, frequently lifting 25 pounds, occasionally up to 50 pounds. Thus, you can even be capable of doing light work and still be found disabled. These issues can get complicated when you had jobs in the past where you learned a lot of skills. The judge will want to know about your work skills, and you must be able to explain them to the judge. How do we go about proving all of this? We do it at the hearing through your answers to questions from the judge and your lawyer.